What is up everybody? It is Wick here. We are at a rummage sale currently and we're gonna hit a few more yard sales, drive around, see what we can find. And at this rummage sale, we're looking for some stuff we can flip on eBay, Amazon, anywhere else, Facebook marketplace, even anywhere we can sell it, make some money. And I spot some of these shoes. They're Stanford shoes. They're not a great brand, but they are pretty much new. And some of those vintage styles do kind of well in that category. So I went ahead and ended up grabbing those for two bucks. Why not? Clothes, unfortunately, there's not a lot here, not a lot of electronics or good stuff. Uh, I was one of the first people in. There's not a lot of people, I think only one other person. I don't know if there were any people before I got here. I was like 15 minutes early, so I don't know. Here's a Caterpillar hat, it was just kind of in rough shape. Uh, some of these cat hats do pretty well, the vintage ones especially, but I wanted $2 for it. <laughs> and you can see it's stained. I didn't really want to mess with it. But right here is a bunch of cross stitch stuff, brand new, ranging from a quarter to $2. And I figure, you know what, this stuff's worth picking up. So I grab all that. Ended up finding a couple other items here. I don't believe I got on camera. Um... Yeah, so we're at another sale now. Saw a sign and stopped here and I'm looking. They're bringing stuff out currently. On the way out, I noticed a garbage bag filled with vintage hats I went through and that wasn't there. I just looked and it wasn't there. So I thought I walked past it originally. So pretty good timing there. Unfortunately, most of the hats were just trashed. <laughs> looking in these bags, trying to find stuff. There's like a battery charger. Here's a camera, like a Bentley. Not a good brand. Uh, 15 dollars I think max for that camera. It didn't feel like buying it. So off to my right though, I spot some starter jacket stuff and I get pretty excited because I'm moving these jackets around. I assume they're all starter and I see one is chalk line and I've been looking for a chalk line animation, but I'm like, oh, that's just a starter jacket. And then I'm actually touching one. I see and I'm like, oh, this is good. So I turned to the lady. I said, how much? for your jackets and she told me two dollars a piece uh chalk line fanimation jacket has been something on my bucket list kind of fine because i just think they're really cool looking and now we're at another sale and this is like at noon now i just happened to see another sign and look over here a nintendo <laughs> a nintendo sitting here uh afternoon this garage sale's been going on for four hours and no one's bought it make offer i got it for five dollars there's a bunch of cars over there, like model cars, but some guy had already bought them and he had made a deal. So I ended up stopping at Goodwill while I was in this area and we're looking for more junk <laughs> to sell. Uh, that's why I was flipping junk, right? I guess I call everything junk. Anything I sell, I call junk. It doesn't necessarily mean it's junk. Um, it's the channel name. I know some people get mad when I call stuff junk. <laughs> I don't know why, like my channel's flipping junk. Um, but yeah toys what's this it looks like some lego or something i don't even know i don't think they were actually lego $1.99 for whatever that was looking for some board games there's a vintage risk up on top you know not really worth picking up some of the the vintage risk are that one it is too beat up there's a barney like jack-in-the-box i thought was going to be good but it didn't work i think you could sell it for like 15 plus shipping i looked it up just uh, not worth picking up when it doesn't work. Uh, looking through the cables, trying to find any vintage calculators. It can be worth money. It's at this Goodwill. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. This robotics modem is still here. Not worth selling. I've looked that up. Mm, got some sort of Conair Spa thing. Here's a keyboard ergonomic. I this, this was worth picking up, I guess. You could make some money. It was really dirty. I didn't, honestly didn't feel like messing with it. I think it was selling for like $20, $25 plus shipping. I got too much stuff to clean and test right now. Uh, if it would have been, you know, $100, maybe I would have bought it. Uh, that was a remote for a DVD player. Just a basic one. There's a what keyboard, not trying to buy another keyboard. Still regretting the one I bought for a dollar, even though I probably still make $50 on it. Uh, just they take up space and got to clean them, test them. Here's some pirated movies. Goodwill, I don't know why you're selling these for $3 a piece. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But yeah, there they are. Here's a PlayStation game, Cubix. Thought this might be good, looked it up. And it's like a $4 game on eBay. Some PlayStation 2 games, price 
Nothing very special here. I think I might have all of those already. Not really worth picking up at that price to resell. Look over here though, some Red Wing shoes with tags. They are literally falling apart on this Goodwill shelf, rotting. Uh, they still want $9.99 for them. And Goodwill would even put those out, it's just beyond me. Um, throw them away. Um, that's just a prime example of Goodwill being Greedwill. Uh, there's just no reason for those to be on the shelf in that condition. We're at a new Goodwill now though, stop at another one, and I find this Jensen Car Stereo CD player. Ended up picking it up because it's brand new inside, open box, so figure we can make some money on that. Couldn't find any reliable comps. Looking at these electronics, uh, trying to spot something, basic DVD players, that Sony unit, it's okay if you find the remote. Um, that's the only reason I, I would sell it on Amazon, but I don't sell it on Amazon without the remote. It's the old model for the iPhone connectors. Look at these small appliances. What's this? Some looks like RC remote controls. Look very generic, but look them up anyway because you know you never know. Some of this stuff people can be looking for. You can sell for twenty, thirty dollars. It's pretty easy money. Over here now we're looking at toys, and there's a doll nut. Barbie or anything, just kind of a generic doll. That was a, what was that, Kung Fu Panda DVD and plush. Uh, I didn't want to grab that, wasn't any great money in it, especially when they're open. Mm, not seeing anything that stands out. Let me know if you see anything, of course, and I'll be going over everything I did find today. Uh, hit a couple more yard sales, found some items. Over here, I spot something amazing. I just talked about this in my last video, uh, the prior day. It's Racco Anniversary Edition. These sell amazing on Amazon. $70, $80 is what you can get for them. So for $2.99, it's just amazing that you'd come in the next day and it would be sitting there. Vampire Hunter game. I've sold this new before and it wasn't worth a whole lot. I was going to buy it, but it's just kind of beat up. $3.99. It has kind of a high rank on Amazon. I just ended up putting it back and put it in the cart for now but after i did some research i'm like yeah you know i only make 15 dollars anyway uh, and it's kind of beat up here's a barney plush <laughs> didn't have a price on it but this goodwill price is barney and other plushes like this pretty high it might be five to ten dollars once they put a price on it for me and you know it's not great money it was kind of beat up the eyes were all scratched up melissa and doug fire truck puzzle 3.99 i looked this up not worth it just not i don't even think it was selling for over ten dollars here's another garage sale i ran into stopped at it and there's a harry potter paperback book set but they wanted 35 dollars for it. it sells on ebay for about 35 40 dollars so at that price there's just no money involved and loot boxes everywhere ten dollars a piece they wanted for these loot boxes if you're not familiar with loot boxes, it's something you can pay. I believe it's like $20, $30 a month, and they send you a box every month with loot in it, usually like video game related stuff. However, you know, it just really, some of the stuff can be worth selling, but not at $10 used open boxes like that. Not something I want to mess with. And I'm not seeing much else at this sale, unfortunately, but I stop at one last Goodwill, and right before I left, they brought out two carts, and you can see... I found a lot of great stuff. Sometimes it's just all about timing when you go thrifting and to Goodwill and all these places. It is time to go over the haul. I found some amazing finds today. On the way back home, I saw a sign for a yard sale and I decided to stop and we found all this stuff late in the afternoon and it was really cheap. A box of Skylanders toys. It said 25 cents each or $3 for all. Very good deal to get all these for $3. You got the Wii games here. They were a dollar a piece and they're, they're okay games. Make some money on those. You got a Beast Wars Transformer back there for $2. I did a quick search with Google Lens. It looks like it's selling for around $30 pre-owned. And this one was a bit harder to figure out which exact 
figure it was, but it looked like it was selling pretty well. $15, $20. You can see it was 50 cents, so it was worth picking up. Uh, unfortunately, not like Generation 1 Transformers, which one day I'll find some Generation 1 Transformers, but it wasn't today. Then you got the Skylander stuff. I rarely find this stuff in the wild actually priced cheap. Usually when I see it, especially Goodwill and thrift stores, they want a lot for them and uh, garage sales as well. I would imagine they're pretty expensive <laughs> when they were bought new, but I separated these based on value. These over here, like the, the Bowser and this flying thing was selling for like 20. I believe both of these were selling for around 20. The Spyro figures, maybe it was just one. Some of them are more rare. The variations, the colors are slightly different. So I don't know exactly which one was the $20 one or if they both are. This set right here of these four were selling for around 20 plus shipping. I believe some others, I don't know, maybe 20, 15, 12, I don't know. Things are going to sell by themselves and then these were all selling for around between four and eight dollars a piece. And I'm just going to do a lot and maybe price these $25 plus shipping. But I'll have to add up all the potential profit and throw it on the screen. Next, I have a grail item. This is something that was on my bucket list to find along with a Kuji sweater and all that kind of stuff. If you're not familiar with it, it is a chalk line. Fanimation is what they usually call them. Jacket, vintage, you see chalk line there. And basically these jackets are just all about really cool designs for different sports teams. And they're quite rare, um, especially in Ohio. <laughs> I don't think you come across these too often maybe in larger cities with bigger thrift stores you can find them more often but around here uh, i don't think i've ever come across any chalk line items uh, let alone the fanimation stuff you can see there's the tag chalk line and it's in very good condition minnesota vikings if this was uh, there's some designs just go to ebay and type in chalk line fanimation and you can just see some of the cool designs some of these jackets can go in the hundreds six hundred dollars uh, this particular one, it looked like one sold for around 200 bucks. Some others around 150, so the value of this is about 150, 200. In this condition and how rare it is, I would price it no less than 200 and just let it sit until someone wanted to buy it. I'm in no hurry to sell it. And it's one of these items I might even hold on to for a while just because you know, it's cool just to have one of these. And by the way, all of these jackets were only $2, so absolutely crazy. You can see here's a starter a Vikings jacket. No, not, you know, it's not a heavy one, so it's probably only like $20, $30 max. But here is another chalk line, and it's made like a, you know, a starter jacket would be. And I don't know the history exactly, but it seems like starter bought out chalk line. Maybe somebody can give a brief history lesson in the comments. But again, yeah, $2 for this. Um, probably at least $40. I just sold a Miami Hurricanes starter jacket for about $40, so I would imagine the chalk line would do at least 40 but then you see we got this awesome panthers and panther starter jackets do pretty well this is see a starter logo there and yeah i think i price this maybe 60 bucks but for two dollars it's an amazing pickup going to be some great profit in these and then at the same sale as i was leaving i saw there was a big garbage bag of hats probably 50 plus hats in there and i thought oh my this is going to be amazing based on the jackets they have it turned out to be okay. The problem with these hats and most of the hats in that garbage bag are they are very worn. They were very dirty. So I left a bunch of them because of that. And you know, I know you can clean them. I picked the one that probably one of the dirtiest ones uh, because it is a sports specialities hat. And I just sold one for about $70. But look how dirty that is. It's actually gross. I was able to negotiate well for the prices on these though because of this. I showed her this one and I'm just like, you know what, would you just do five dollars for all these hats because some of these are gross. She's like, oh yeah, just, yeah, that's good. So I've heard you can put these in the dishwasher. I don't know how, how true that is or how well that works. I'll have to do some research um, to clean a hat like this. But yeah, I think this hat is at least a 50 to $70 hat in good condition uh, looking at the comps. Then you can see some of the Vikings hat, uh, some of them's Reebok, they're not as good of brands, uh, but there is one, I think, maybe this one? Yes, yeah, actually brand new, it's never been used, still got the cardboard in there. Starter Panthers hat, it looked like this one was even selling for around $40 pre-owned. Here is a new with tags, Cleveland Indians, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got some dirt fade on it, so that would have to be cleaned. Alabama champion 1992 crimson tide hat. You know, some of these might only be $20, $25 hats cleaned up, but still for what I paid for them and how vintage they are, there's going to be some great profit in them. Stopped in a church rummage sale and we picked up Larry the Lobster. 
singing motion activated thing. You know, the fish, what was it? Billy Bass, I think it is. It actually sells okay Billy Bass. And they had a few of these. They had the Billy Bass and the Catfish one. They had a little bit more damage and they don't sell as well. The lobster seems to be more rare and I picked it up for $3. So I'll be able to sell it for, I think, $29.99 plus shipping. Grab this awesome looking belt and belt buckle. Durango and Silverton Train Company, uh, $2 for it. It's in very good condition. I saw that a belt buckle exactly like this sold for $35 with no belt. And there was no color. So I don't know why the one that sold uh, both from 1983, one had color and one didn't. So I'm thinking I just priced this about $40, $45, right? With the belt and see how it does. I just picked up these Stafford shoes. Some Stafford shoes will do okay. I picked them up because they're more vintage and they're in very good condition. Look like maybe worn once. And they were only $2. So, you know what? I think I could sell these minimum $20. It might be one of those pairs I can actually get $40 for. But for the price and the condition, I think it was worth picking up. I just grabbed this vintage Scrabble game from 1953 for 50 cents. It's in amazing condition. And, you know, it's a bread and butter item. This will sell for about $15 plus shipping. When you're only paying 50 cents for it, you know, it's still worth your time. You only have to count out the pieces. Very quick to do. Listing is very quick. And you're still going to make about at least $10 profit in the end. But then I picked up all of these cross-stitch things. They range from $0.25 cents to $2. The most valuable one in there was about $25, and then I think another one for $20. The rest were around anywhere, the smaller ones, like $8 to $10, $15, all ranges like that. I'm going to lot these up, maybe sell the ones for $20 separate, and I'll have to figure it up, but there's going to be some good profit in these. So if you didn't catch the last video, make sure you do, because I found some amazing items, especially video game stuff. Made over $1,400 in potential profit coming up. But on the way home, I stopped at a sale just like the other one. I ran into like three or four sales in my city. It was afternoon, very late in the morning, and this Nintendo was sitting at one of them. I couldn't believe it. It said make offer on it has two controllers. It's actually looking like it's in pretty good condition. There's no power supply, but I got plenty of those. I offered $5 and they took it. Unfortunately, no games. I'm like, no games at all? Like, you sure? You didn't <laughs> don't know where they are? What happened to them? Uh, I don't even know what Nintendos are selling for right now. Um, probably not that much. They Probably about $50, I would imagine, complete, you know, with like Mario or Duck Hunt. I mean, I already got like 12 Nintendos, so <laughs> I'll just you know, end up testing this and selling it, but I, the games are what I want to collect. I also picked up this grind game for $2 because I'm like, it looks kind of fun. I'm into board games. Uh, Value-wise, you might be able to make a little bit of money, but it was just mostly bought out of curiosity. It looks like it's probably all there in good condition. And for $7, picked up these um, Ariat boots. Um, I believe they're women's. They're in pretty good condition. They got a little bit of scuffing, but you know, we'll use some of the Doc Martens wax on them and they'll, they'll clean up really nicely. All that will blend in. It looks like I can sell these for about $40. Paid $7 for them. Of course, while I was out, I stopped at a couple of Goodwills and it really cleaned up, especially because one of them, a new, two new carts came out and it had a lot of great items on it. First, we got this Sony portable DVD player. We'll sell this on Amazon and we'll make about $50 profit on it. Paid $7.99. I picked up this weird water worm thing. I kind of remember these, uh, I believe from 2003, and I saw one listed for $35 on eBay. This particular one, there were no solds, so you know what? I figured I'd price it $20 and maybe get a sale. I picked up this typewriter because I am a weirdo. Yesterday when I was out at yard sales, if you saw the video, I passed up on a, a decent typewriter because I said I don't need to be buying these larger items right now because I have so much to do. So much to list. Things I have to test, I don't know if they work. <laughs> but you know what, the next day I buy this one at Goodwill for $5.99. I bought this one because I just sold one like this. I thought was the same model. I sold it for about 130 bucks. This one's actually not that great of a model. Um, after I sell it, I'll only make $40 profit. However, there's ink ribbon in there, so hopefully that works. I can test it and it'll just be really quick. For $12.99, I picked up this Jensen CD player. Everything's in there. It's, it's actually brand new, never used, just open box. So I couldn't find this exact one to do comps on, but some of the other Jensen stuff was selling for over $100 new. So I'm probably gonna price this about $75 plus shipping and uh, we'll see if it sells. For $4.99, we picked up the traditional Home Edix massager. I've sold every single one of these I've ever bought. They've sold 
fairly quick within you know probably two weeks max this one i believe i sell for about 29.99 plus shipping all this stuff i just threw in the car i didn't even open the box i could hear some of the attachments if, if it has all the attachments i'll get the 29.99 but with goodwill i don't have to worry because they allow you to return them within seven days uh, hopefully they never change that otherwise it's going to be i have to open all this stuff in goodwill and test it and make sure everything's there it's just going to take a lot more time and hassle here's something i sold recently i picked up one of these at a rummage sale for ten dollars it's a pet wireless transmitter. If they actually come with the collars, you can get some really good money for them. But still, this transmitter, the one I bought recently, I listed, I think, it for $50 plus shipping, and it sold within an hour. So this one I'm going to price up a bit higher, and there's going to be some great profit in that. Literally bought a Racco game yesterday at a yard sale, not this one. And I mentioned this anniversary edition. If you find it, it's good money for whatever reason. Kind of a bolo. Next day, I find one sealed at Goodwill. I can't even make this stuff up. Luckily, I have some video footage to prove that I'm actually buying it like this. So, yeah, the last one of these I found sealed and I sold on Amazon. I got, I think, $70, $75. I don't remember exactly. Currently, no one on the listing on Amazon. So, I'm definitely pricing this up. Then for $3.99, I picked up this Panasonic VCR. This is a good one to sell on Amazon. It has a good rank. Uh, you just have to have the remote. Fully test it. Cables if you're going to sell on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I have the remote for this unit. It's a fairly common unit. If not, you can buy a remote fairly cheap and it's worth it because I only paid $3.99 for it. And it sells for over $100 pre-owned on Amazon. I've sold this model multiple times over the past decade and it always sells well. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm excited about yesterday's. Combined, uh, yesterday's haul was like over $1,400, almost $1,500 estimated profit. I assume this is close to, I don't know, maybe not close to 1,000. It's hard to do the math in my head, but when I go to edit the video, I can figure it all out. But I'm guessing well over $2,000 just for two days of garage selling. And I guess a little bit of thrifting. I'll take it, but make sure you hit that like button for me on the way out. Be subscribed if you want to see the videos. If you don't hit the subscribe button, YouTube will stop recommending them to you. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.